Are we live? Yes. They can see? Okay, cool. All right, what's going on, guys? Good evening to you all. I hope you've had a wonderful week. Happy Friday. So actually here at our factory in Dongguan, it is Saturday morning. We're about 12 hours ahead of you. So good morning from China and good evening to you all. We are here, Dongguan, at the Olight factory. This is where we are making all of the awesome products that you guys love. So today, we are going to go to the fifth floor and we are gonna show you that floor, okay? Over the next couple of weeks, we're gonna go ahead and show you guys some other floors as well. But today, we're just gonna to stick to this one just because the factory is so big. There's no way that we are gonna actually get through everything um, in one live video, okay? So we're gonna basically take you through the process, right? We're going to uh, talk about the materials coming in, how the materials are checked in, how the materials are stored, and then where the materials go in order to go to assembly to actually build all of the flashlights, right? So uh, we were actually here a few days ago and spent several hours here getting a tour and getting a feel of how the factory works. Um, so today we're basically just gonna take you through all of that and hopefully this will give you a much better idea of where your products are coming from and the next time that you buy an Olight, you can say, oh yeah, I remember where they make it. I know what that place looks like. I know what they do there, right? And that's the point of this video. So I've got Kevin here with me today. He works here at the headquarters. Um, he has amazing English. He probably has better English than I do. Um, so, <laughs> so because of that, he's gonna be coming along with me. Uh, hopefully we might be able to, uh, you know, interview a couple employees maybe. Sure. Um, we honestly didn't really plan that at all, but I figured we could just tap someone's shoulder and maybe ask them about their job, things like that, okay? So uh, with that said, we are going to be mobile, um, which is really cool. I've actually got a guy right here that has this, I, I wish I could show it to you. He has this big body camera suit and he's actually going to be following us around. So. This is the first time that I've ever done a live video where I actually get to walk around. Typically, I'm just standing in front of a wall, there's a camera in front of me, and I'm just doing it by myself. So I'm just as excited as you guys are um, to, to be able to finally do this for you. I've been wanting to do this for years, to be honest with you, so, uh, so I'm very, very excited. So with that said, uh, let's go ahead and, and show you here kind of the front entrance of the fifth floor. So uh, actually every single floor has a front lobby. Uh, this is the fifth floor front lobby, but there's also very similar lobbies uh, on each floor, okay? Can you, can you hear? Are we good? Okay, cool. All right, so we're gonna go into the entrance of the fifth floor here, and we're gonna go ahead and start showing you everything. So let's go ahead. Let's go. All right. So right here? Uh, right there. Hmm? All right, let's go. So just to let you guys know, this room over here is actually gonna be the last room that I show you on this tour, but I'm gonna save it for the end because it's really, really cool. So please stick with me. Um, because I guarantee you, you guys are going to want to check out what I talk about later. And also, just a heads up, we're gonna do a really, really cool giveaway in this video. That's one of the most special giveaways we've ever done. So stick with me, hang out, and let's go. All right, so actually we should start over here. Yeah. Okay, so this room that we're about to go into is going to be the room where they're actually receiving the parts in order to build the flashlights, okay? So the people in this room are receiving all of the different components, right? So the LEDs, the little springs, the magnets, all of the little things that we need to actually make the lights, this is where they're actually receiving all of those items. So 
We're gonna go in here and check that out. Yeah, this is room for uh, quality. Yeah, yeah. So check quality. Uh, yeah. All right. So let's go ahead. Right. So the way it works is there are elevators all the way back behind this wall. Those elevators is where we're actually receiving all of the components, okay? The components come in from the trucks, right? And then here, they're actually doing quality control of the components. So the very first thing that we do when the components arrive at our factory is we start checking them to make sure that the quality is good. One of the most impressive things that I saw a few days ago when I was taking my own tour was just how many different levels of QC there are. Pretty much every single stop, there are different levels of QC. They're constantly checking everything again and again and again and again to make sure it's the best quality possible and the components are up to our standards, right? So here we go. They are checking in all the components and doing quality checks, okay? We've got all kinds of things. Here, we've got these little rings right here. This is for the baton three, right? That's one component of the tail cap. There's one thing that they're going through. Um, check it out. Here's some PCB boards, right? So you can see, again, these are all the electrical components, all of the pieces of the flashlights that are coming in and they're being checked one by one by one. Here, come here. Let me, let me show you this here. Come on in. Come a little bit more. And you can see her computer. Can you come around and see her computer, right? So you can see here, she's going through all the diagnostics of what the, uh, the products are actually supposed to be. Look, so she's got the diagnostics here on her screen. And then look at her. She's measuring everything to make sure that it's exactly what it's supposed to be with the schematics. So she's literally right here checking everything to make sure that it's up to par. If something isn't exactly perfect the way it's supposed to be on the schematics, we'll see you later. We're not going to use it, right? And every single person is doing this. We can keep going. Check this out. This is really cool. So right here, look. So this is the mounts for uh, the, uh, the Balder Mini, all right? So, so here is the little mounts there, the adjustable mounts, and check it out. She's going through every single one, making sure that they're up to par and all of that. So anyways, I think you guys got the idea. I think it's just really cool to go through here and just show all of this. I mean, look at all these different little parts. Check this out. Here's the carbon fiber tail cap of the i3T. It could be the i5R. But there you go, there's a carbon fiber component there. Of course, going through every single one. So just a really, really cool room, guys. Really, really cool room. Uh, I think we can go ahead and move on from here. I think you guys got the idea. Let's go ahead, let me show you here. Let's go ahead and turn around. Let's go ahead and turn around. And let's show this window here. So right here, these big, big doors that you guys see through this window, uh, this is where the materials are coming in. This is where the products are coming in. You can see here we have these conveyor belts over here. And so they're sliding in, sliding through this door right here, and then it's going to all of these workers right here at their little stations. And you can see their stations are even right next to, to the conveyor belt. Yeah. So the products come in and the conveyor belt brings the products directly to their desk so that they can start doing QC on the components. So. It's just really efficient, guys. It's a really cool setup, and, and this yeah. is probably the most boring room, but I actually really like it. Like, I'm nerding out already, and this is just like kind of just a regular room. It's not even that big of a deal, but it's still really cool to me. I hope it's cool to you, too. So anyways, uh, let's go ahead. We're going to continue through the process. So right here, here, let's, let, let me show you this because it actually looks like it it's about to do it, maybe? 
Uh, yep, it's picking up some products here. So, the, okay, so the products are good to go, right? The products are good to go. We've already finished checking all of these products. They've passed all of our tests. We know that these components are up to our standards and they're good enough to be used to build the flashlights. So what's going to happen now is this little robot here is going to take the product and it's going to go through this little baby door right here. <laughs> yes, yes, I'm calling it a baby door. Yeah. There you go. So here's approved products. And now they're moving into the next section, okay? So, yeah, let's go ahead and let's go through the main doors and we're gonna go into the building that that robot just went into, or into the room, right? Yeah. So let's go into that room and let's see what that robot's doing. Come on. Okay. That's the baby door. Okay. So that robot is now here. It's right here. And these are the, here's the bins that were on that robot. Now the robot's leaving. Right? Yeah. And it's going to go back to the QC room so it can go pick up more products. Right. So what just happened is this machine just gave the approved products to a worker who is now going to check in those components. Once those components are checked in after they've already left the small robot is the larger robots here are going to take those components that have been checked in and approved and they're going to put them into our component warehouse. So you can see here, come on over here that way? and you can look this way, okay? And now you can see, so this is our component warehouse. So this is going to be where all the LEDs are, the tail caps, the springs, every tiny little piece that it takes to put together the flashlight they're stored here. Now keep in mind, all of the products that are here have already gone through QC. They've already all been approved in order to make the flashlights. So everything here is good to go, ready, ready for the picking, depending on what flashlights we're making at that time, right? One thing that I want to mention to you guys, because I know a couple of you are gonna say, man, why are they using robots instead of people? Keep in mind, that this is actually really the only part, really, that isn't full of people, okay? Sure. When we were going through this, where, through this factory, through this whole place. We see people everywhere. I was actually really surprised at how humanized it is. Yeah. If you go to a car factory or something like that, you're gonna see robotic arms everywhere. You're gonna see robots doing everything, right? Yeah. Whereas here, most of the things that are done to your flashlight are actually done by hand. We're not gonna go to the assembly floor today because that's gonna take probably at least two videos. That's gonna be nuts. That's actually yeah. the fourth floor. And I'm gonna explain that to you guys. But just to let you know, the reason why we have this robot set up is to make sure that the inventory is absolutely perfect. Yeah. Make sure it's as efficient as possible so that it can go to the people in order to actually do the really important work, okay? So this is really the only part that's actually truly like robotic, I guess. Yeah. But at the same time, we've got people here that are leading the way, right? Yeah. So right here, he, here's the guy who is checking in the QC components, right? So let's go over here now. So this guy's checking everything, uh, checking everything into the warehouse. So now, here, let me, here, you can come along. So these guys are actually doing the opposite. He's checking in, these guys are checking out, okay? So these guys are the ones who are picking all of the components and all of the pieces that we need, and they're the ones who are sending the components to assembly downstairs, right? So these guys' jobs is 
This is one of the most important jobs of them all because these are the guys who are getting everything we need to, to build a flashlight, right? So he's checking everything in, they're checking everything out, and then we'll go here. So you can see here, he's got all these components. He's scanning everything. Everything is, you know, full on inventory. Yeah. Like everything is scanned every step of the way. Um, it's a very clean process. Right. So what's gonna happen is he's gonna take everything that we need to build the flashlight and then it's gonna go to that elevator over there. Yeah, there's an elevator that way. Yep. All right. Yeah. Taking and, the products. Yeah. And that elevator is gonna take all the components down to the fourth floor to assembly. So it's basically QC and then checked into the warehouse, then checked out of the warehouse, and then downstairs to assembly. And that's kind of the whole component puzzle, right? That's how everything gets to where it needs to be, okay? So let's go ahead and uh, we're gonna move on to another part. Some, somewhere interesting. Yeah, something more interesting, yeah. I know the warehouse is kind of the boring part, right? But... Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. So one thing that I want to mention is it's Saturday morning here in China, okay? So when I was here a few days ago getting a tour during the week, this was completely full of people. There was a person at every single station, okay? Today, obviously, very, very light staff because it's, it's Saturday, Saturday, okay? Yeah. It's Saturday morning, right? So uh, you're probably only gonna see maybe about half of the people who actually work here. Even though, even though it's Saturday, we still have to keep the lights on. We still have to you know, keep things going every single day, right? But just know that you know, if you see empty chairs and things like that, it's Saturday morning, guys, all right? Yeah. So uh, this is the engraving. This is the engraving, okay? And I don't mean the custom engravings for the Black Diamond members. I don't mean that. I mean these are the guys who are putting the serial numbers, the Olight name, the name of the flashlight, all of the words that you see on your Olights, they're the ones who are putting those on. Yesterday, or not yesterday, a few days ago when I was here, yeah. uh, they were doing the Warrior Mini 2. And they had Warrior Mini 2 set up on their screen and they were doing all of these things and, and putting the logos on the Warrior Mini 2s, right? So, so this is where that's happening. So I, we can go a little closer. I can show you a little bit more. Oh. Okay. So I hope, I hope you guys are watching because this is actually, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys about the giveaway that we're doing today. Um, so we decided to take two Seeker 4 Minis and here, go, come on over. We've got two Seeker 4 Minis yeah. that we're gonna give away to two lucky winners in the comment section of this video. Uh, I'm not going to announce the winners right now because I'm, I'm live and I just have a camera pointed at me. But after the live video, we're gonna choose two lucky names, just random generator, um, of people to win Seeker for Minis. Mini. Yeah. The cool part about it is he is going to engrave factory tour on the top of the flashlight. And look here, look, you can look at his screen. Yeah. Oh. So you okay. can see here, he's got it set up. He's got the words factory tour set up. We have the red Seeker 4 Mini right here. We also have a green Seeker 4 Mini right here. He's got the red Seeker 4 Mini set up and he's about to engrave factory tour on the top of it. We're gonna do the same thing with the green version. And the two lucky winners who win, I'm going to send you these flashlights that are right here, okay? so. We're not just gonna send you a flashlight from the warehouse. 
we're, we're gonna send you these ones that are right here in this video right now that we're engraving, okay? So this is gonna be two Something. of two. Yeah. I mean, there's, there's not gonna be any other Seeker 4 Minis that have factory torque, okay? So these are, these are the only two flashlights that are gonna be like this, okay? So uh, we'll go ahead and, okay. and have him do it. You wanna come in close? So yeah, you can, can take a look at how he starts You wanna show it? Okay, All right, he's gonna go ahead and, and hit it. Oh, it's done. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Flash of time. That's incredible. Look how fast that is. Okay. You can see? Uh, uh, okay, can you, can you see it real quick? Okay. I don't know if you're going to really be able to see, um, but there we go. So we've got our factory tour Seeger 4 Mini. So these is one of the lights that we're going to give away. We'll ship it to you from here. And then he's going to do the green one right now. Okay, show Boom, that's Whoa. it. It's literally like two seconds. It's kind of incredible. Like one so, second, probably. <laughs> yeah, maybe even yeah, one second. Yeah. Okay. So we got our factory tour lights here. So please, please, please make sure to comment on this video so that you can be entered to win one of these lights. So there we go. <laughs> all right. Um, so these are all of the engraving stations. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we have nine. Um, uh, engravers. Human, human engravers, right? Yeah. And then we also have a secondary machine. Uh, if we are doing uh, a bigger run, um, you know, we don't have enough machines. We also have an arm over here that is engraving as well. So. You can come on over. And maybe you can, uh, you can show here. Yeah. Can you maybe get a little bit closer? Are you can. You can okay, take what I did. Come back. Come here a little bit. Okay. So basically, this little arm is grabbing the tubes, right? And it's putting it into the machine. It's doing a quick engraving right there on the machine over there. And then the arm is going to grab it and then put it back in its place. So uh, this is a way that we can engrave, you know, the thousands and thousands of flashlights that we make. Um, but also we have the nine stations over here that are running all the time as well, of course, when it isn't Saturday morning, right? Yeah. So there's, there's how we engrave all of the flashlights, right? Okay, let's go ahead and move on to another really cool section. So if you guys follow me uh, in our Facebook group, I posted a picture of this when I was here a few days ago. Uh, the past few days I've actually been posting pictures in the Facebook group of various things that I thought are really cool here at the factory. Again, what we did a few days ago. So this machine is, is truly incredible. So this is actually a, a in-house built machine. Um, so you're, you're not going to see another machine that's like this. It's custom modded, completely custom built in order to specifically make the components we need for our own flashlights, right? Which no one else makes, right? So what this is doing is it's actually, this is making the side switches, mm -hmm. the little snap domes. And I mentioned this in the Facebook group a few days ago. So basically, there's these little metal domes, and when you press on the switch, for example, a Baton Series Lite or the Warrior Mini 2, when you press the side switch, you're going to get that click, right? It's click, and then it comes back. So that click, this is actually producing those little metal domes that are underneath the rubber switches to give you that click when you hit the button. So we're actually producing a lot of these little tiny really articulate components for our flashlights and we're starting to do it more and more in-house right right um you know obviously some of the components we source um you know leds uh little circular metal yeah. pieces little tiny little things like that but as we continue to grow and as we continue to expand we're going to keep doing more and more of these components in-house okay but this is one of them um which is very exciting it's cool to see us making such intricate, just precise things, yeah. you know? And we produce this machine 
completely and we produce this machine completely in-house exactly That's right. um, here let me show you here too this one is also working on putting the springs on the little discs in order for this to uh, be the tail cap for the light so this is going to be um, you know what's holding your battery inside of the light so it's also producing the internal component there and I mean this is remarkable like I could just watch this all day like look how cool this is it's grabbing them inspecting making sure it's good to go it's putting the piece right over here it's adding components to it right there I mean this is wow this is really cool so <laughs> yeah. so I think you get the idea yeah we didn't see that last time maybe. yeah 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 okay so next part next part so this is making the magnetic tail switches. This is making the magnetic tail switches. So you can see here, this is really heavy. Uh, <laughs> look at all these little magnets. These are all little tiny magnets. Okay, and these are the magnets that they're using to create your uh, magnetic tail switches, right? Yeah. So you can see here, another in-house built machine. This is a custom machine that we created in order to make our magnetic tail caps. Yeah. Keep in mind, the magnetic tail, tail switches, the magnetic tail caps is, is something special we do here at Olight. So how are we gonna buy a machine to produce that? There, yeah. there's, it doesn't we exist, do it we invented it, right? Yeah, yeah. So we have to invent the machines to make the products that we invented, right? Yeah, that so that's sense. what we did. So that's what's going on right here is they are producing the uh, magnetic tail caps and putting everything together. So There are actually eight steps to make a magnetic tail cap. Uh, eight tail steps. Switch. Yeah, yeah. They're okay. doing the eight, eight things. Yeah. And you can see here it's rotating and it's adding each component and putting everything together, right? Yeah. We've got these little plastic pieces here. We have O-rings. Here, here. We can show Come you here. Over. We have the little center plastic pieces right here that you guys see on the uh, magnetic tail caps. We also have the O-rings right here, which of course we have to have in order to make the uh, tail caps waterproof and water doesn't get into the batteries, right? Right. Um, so, uh, so that's happening as well. Um, obviously, there are human beings at these machines that are controlling the machines, making sure that it's working properly. You can see here, she's aligning the O-rings because they got a little bit jumbled up. So. We have these machines that are creating these components, but of course we have to have people who are guiding the machines, making sure it's running properly and all of that. So this is her machine, that's her machine, and they're making these tail caps. Very, very cool. All right? Right. Okay, so um, over here, and here, we can go ahead and come on. So over here we have uh, two more stations. So. These are actually um, assembly lines, basically. Um, last time we were here a few days ago, they were actually putting in the silicone and glue and things like that inside of the Arkfeld bodies. And that's right. what they were doing here a few days ago. Again, guys, it's Saturday morning, so all those people that I saw last time, they're not here right now. Um, but yeah. here's some stations where Again, they're doing preparation for assembly. A lot of what's going on up here is preparation for the assembly. Think about it. They're engraving the bodies. They're piecing the components together. They are putting the silicone and all of the components there uh, with the arc felt over here. They're just getting everything ready, again, to go downstairs to the fourth floor to be assembled, right? So. If anything, this is just kind of like the preparation floor, right? I mean, yeah. we do have the inventory warehouse for all the components up here as well, but I feel like we're, we're getting ready to, to, for the assembly. You know what I mean? That's yeah, kind yeah, of yeah. what's going on up here, right? Yeah, maybe on this floor there are more machines than the fourth floor. More yeah, people. yeah, so I, I'm telling you guys, I, I, you gotta tune in next week because we're gonna sh start showing you assembly um, and that's going to be just incredibly exciting. Yeah. Um, it's it, it's really an exciting amazing. room. Yeah. There's there's so many people down there. Uh, they're doing amazing work with their hands. I, they're really good with their hands. The whole time that we were down there, I was like, I could never do any of this. Yeah, me like either. 
There's no way I could do any of this. It was this, amazing. Like, ever. <laughs> yeah. So anyways, let's, uh, let's go ahead. Let's keep going. <laughs> so now about the office? Yeah. Yeah. So guys, what we're going to do now is we are going to walk back out to where we entered. And we're going to show you the offices here at the factory. Yeah, this is the, actually the office on the fifth floor. We have yeah, more this is offices. the fifth. Yeah, you're we right. We have there more are. offices like down on the fourth floor. There's yeah. offices everywhere, but this is a big one. So we'll go ahead and show you that one since, since we're already here. Sure. All right. Okay. So uh, there's a lot going on in this office, okay? We are in the factory, of course, um, but these are not factory workers. These are business people. Yep. Um, they are doing operations. They're doing procurement. Uh, they're doing raw materials sourcing. Um, they're doing operations for the factory. This right. is basically kind of the brain of the, of the factory, factory yeah. right? right. Um, they're, they're basically in charge of everything that's actually going on, right? Right. Um, we can go ahead and show you around. It's actually a really nice office. The lounge area. Here. Even though we're in a factory, they built this kind of like fancy office here in the middle of the factory, so it's kind of cool. Here, you can come around. Here's a waiting area um, for, mm -hmm. for anyone who comes to the factory and you want to have a meeting or something like that. Yeah. Uh, so you can take a seat. Yeah. Really, really nice waiting area behind. Uh, here's the break area. Um, so nice table set up. Uh, they even have an espresso machine, microwave, all that good stuff, all right? Um, and all that's there just for, for all of these people here. Again, guys, Saturday, um, a lot of the desks are you know, empty because most people aren't working on Saturday morning here, but um, there, there are quite a few people here. So I figured we could maybe just like walk up to somebody and ask them what they're doing. Why I mean, not, yeah. why, why not? Um, Okay. I'm trying to see. I'm trying to see like kind of what people are. Yeah, we can we can ask him, I guess. Yeah, that's sure, fine. Sure. So do you want to? You can ask him kind of what he's up to today. It looks like he's doing very complicated things on his computer. So. <laughs> you, uh, you want me yeah, to you, ask? Yeah, yeah. Say hey. What are you up to? You now doing what work? Huh? Oh, he's just training like the new staff. Like he just maybe he's in. Uh, new, newly on board. Oh, so, new. Okay, so so, so he's we have wearing a, new, a special new... jacket for for uh, yeah. That's, oh, that's that cool. green, that, that blue jacket is for uh, yeah. New see, hires. see, that's why you're here. I, I see you're telling yeah, me things. So now, he's so. Uh, like training. <laughs> okay. Him some, uh, training. Uh, so training on on what? So what are they? On, uh, some like? sta statistics. You see, he's t telling him, telling her about the uh, some. This is nice. Read that a little bit. Oh, this is our consumer's one. Oh, some um, ratios of the you know the uh, the supplies that pass the quality the spe in inspection you know the quality inspection okay the ratio uh, like this uh, how how many of them like pass the inspection the supplies yeah. there you go okay yeah. Th there you go typical yeah. thing of course we need to have that we need to know how many products pass yeah. Yeah. how many products don't pass um, obviously that's very important you know. Yeah. Um, so that's really cool. So there's one of the things that definitely needs to be done here. That's cool. cool. Um, here, we can, we can ask somebody else. Why not? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Um, here we go. You, you want to ask him? Yeah, here we go. He's got some work <laughs> on his computer there. You want to ask him? Why not? <laughs> we really did not plan this, I swear. I, I don't know. If <laughs> but this is fun. We're having fun here. <laughs> Oh, he's writing a plan on on the uh, maybe uh, some uh, automation, like some uh, smart system, something like that. Maybe he's trying to uh, about some smart system in the factory. Oh, okay. Some so so he's system. putting together like a plan, kind yeah, of a, kind yeah. of a game plan for for some systems in the factory. Yeah, That's to make it a little bit smarter, you know, smarter for to be more efficient. Okay, there you go. So yeah. he's working on you know factory efficiencies, that kind of thing. So yeah. There's a lot of really important work going on here, guys. Um, we got meeting rooms here. Um, 
There's a whole bunch of people back here as well, if you didn't see them. I thought there'd be less people today, actually, so that's kind of cool. Um, here, so we're gonna go ahead and just pop into the, uh, the big boss's office, right? So, so John works out of here. John is the, uh, the head of the factory, right? Yeah. So we can pop into his office. Yeah, I know. So again, Saturday, guys, uh, John is, uh, he's not here today, um, but, uh, but, but this, is, this is a beautiful office, man. Um, he works right here. Um, when I was here a few days ago, we actually stood here and talked for a little while. So this is where the big boss works. And he can have all of his meetings right here, just right here in his office, right? So his office is kind of a part of this big like boardroom here as well. Cool thing about it too is, and this isn't only for this one office, like yeah. most of the meeting rooms have a display wall of all the products. This is very typical. Most of the meeting rooms yeah. that I've been in since I've been here, not only here, but also at the headquarters, yeah. they, they have the products on display perfectly, right? We need to grab a flashlight and talk about it. Exactly. You know, so meetings. if we're having a meeting here, and let's, we can show you here too. We've got a big TV set up right here. We also have, they have this big camera. web camera, webcam set up here as well. Um, so this place is outfitted to have full on meetings about every single product that we could produce. I mean, our whole website's up here. I mean, every, everything we make is, is up here, right? Um, you know, we got X9Rs, we got I5Rs, um, we even have uh, S2R2 up here, we got the Odin series, we got Arcfelds, I mean, we got all the pins, um, we got the I5T pluses, I mean, everything's up here. So I just, I appreciate seeing things like this. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you're gonna have a meeting about products, like, it should be set up like this. You know what I'm saying? This is very efficient, very organized, very yeah. clean, and uh, and I just I find it really impressive. So, anyways, Big John's office, John, if you're watching or if you do watch this, thank you for letting us in your office. I appreciate <laughs> it. He's a really cool guy, by the way. Really, really nice guy. <clears throat> Okay, um, and I think that's pretty much it. I think I've, yeah. I think you guys have seen an office before, so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, uh, but anyways, just wanted to show this to you here, and what's cool about it is, just a, I, I'm trying to give you guys kind of an idea so you can imagine that you're here standing with me, right? So you can see here. Here's this big window. Here's this big window. Yeah. And here are the in-house custom tail cap machines. Yeah. Again, we just right toured there. earlier. We just toured earlier, right? Right. Um, so even the offices, they have these big windows where they can look into, um, you know, the operations and all of the production as well. So everything is very open, transparent. Everybody yeah. can see everything. Everybody can be involved with everything, um, and uh, and I appreciate that. So, anyways. That's what's going on there. So I guess we can go ahead and walk through here and we can move on to the next part of the tour. Yeah, why not? The next part is the lab, right? Yeah. Most exciting part. Yeah, so the next part is really, really exciting. This is gonna be the final room that we go into today. Um, and uh, we're gonna be here for a little while. Um, this room is where they test the reliability the performance and all of the measurements uh, that we need in order for a flashlight to be good enough for you guys to use every single day. So we're gonna go in here, this is the laboratory where they're actually testing the final products to make sure that they're good enough. So let's go ahead. Again, here's the front lobby that we were at in the very beginning. And we're gonna walk past that again. This is where we started the tour. So we're coming back. Oh, you need to. Uh... And here's the test room. Oh, nice hey, to see you. Hey, what's up, again. man? <laughs> so. Oh, all the machines are turned up. Yeah. So here's the testing uh, facility. Keep in mind, we have multiple testing facilities. This is just one of them. Um, 
we we actually have a, a few places where we're running similar tests. Yeah. Um, in Shenzhen, you know, one in Shenzhen. Right? Yes, we have we have basically a replica of this exact same setup, with even more oh, machines yeah. at the headquarters. So this is the factory lab, but we also have a headquarters lab. There's redundancies everywhere to make sure that everything is done um, and it's accurate, right? Right. We don't want to test something on one machine. We want to test something on a few machines to make sure that the data is correct so we know that we're right. Um, and so that's why we have multiple versions of laboratories uh, throughout the company. So let's start from this machine maybe? Yeah, we'll start with this one. Um, let's see, is this the... Oh, temperature, the extreme temperature. Extreme yeah. temperature test, yeah. Um, and this one's for the batteries, right? Because um, we have battery testers here. Yeah, yeah, we'll have him come over here. So he actually showed us. Hi. Yeah, so, so a few days ago, um, he was here and he gave us a tour of this facility. I'm really glad that he was able to be with us here today. Um, he did a great job of explaining everything. So. Yeah. So these are for uh, batteries. For yeah, it's for the batteries. Yeah. Testing yeah. the batteries. So here we go. We're testing batteries. Um, actually, this looks like this looks like arc filled batteries actually, because we've got these flat, thin batteries. I believe those are the batteries for the arc filled. Yeah. Um, and then over here, this is actually temperature testing the batteries themselves. We also test the temperatures of the flashlights when they're fully complete. Um, but this way, this is a temperature test for the batteries. This is really, really important because if you leave a flashlight in your car or it's a really cold day or something like that, we need to make sure that the flashlights are okay and they can withstand that. But the batteries are a really important component to make sure. So yeah. we do extreme temperature testing just for the batteries separately and then we'll show you the uh, the temperature test for the flashlights a little bit later. That, that's right here. So anyways, let's keep it moving. All of this is battery testing. Look, look at this. Look at all these batteries right here. <laughs> this is wild. So these batteries look a little different than the Olight ones that you have. So they haven't put the, uh, the wrappers and the protection circuits on the batteries yet. So here they're just testing the raw cells to make sure that they're safe and they're okay to move on to getting the protection circuit and the blue Olight wrapper that you see on all of our batteries. So here you can see these are 16340s. So this is your Baton 3 battery. You see these little guys right here and they're testing all of these to make sure that they're ready to, to be in your flashlight, right? All right, let's go ahead here. This one's really cool. Charging ports, right? So this is testing the charging port. Uh, let me, yeah, can we show you this right here? So right here we have a, a, a Marauder 2. And right here is a USB-C cable. So we're taking the cable, inserting it into the flashlight over and over and over and over again. This is to ensure that you can charge these flashlights for years and years and years and it's going to be able to withstand that with the charging port, right? So we simulate you charging your flashlights over and over again for years to, to make sure those ports are going to withstand, you know, all yeah. of the abuse over time of charging it, char right? Right. This is really important, guys, because, and, and as a flashlight buyer myself, I, I want to know that the port is gonna last, you know what I mean? So yeah. I was really happy to see this machine. I think this is very important. The charging ports are very important on these flashlights. So yeah. there you go. Okay, um, we've got a few other pieces right here. Um, it, it, does he, does he wanna talk about these a little bit or? Yeah, maybe. Uh, you wanna mention these? Okay, they don't have products for the, uh, to, to run the test right now. Maybe we can jump, jump into the, this top drop yeah, test. Yeah, we can't really show you these right now. They're not really using them right now. So we'll just go ahead and move on. Um, so at the headquarters, there is this really fancy drop test machine that has this big robotic arm that picks the flashlight up and drops it. 
So uh, here at the factory, we do it old school. Yeah. <laughs> so basically, <laughs> we measure and, <laughs> and, and, and we just, we literally just drop the flashlight. Yeah. Just over, over and over again. And drop it in that, just not on the, and we not drop, on the concrete, it's on a. Yeah, we drop it on a metal block yeah. here, yeah. They drop it from different angles. Yeah, actually six ang six different surfaces. Yeah, you're right, yes. Six different angles, six different yeah. surfaces is how they drop it uh, to simulate any type of way that, yeah. that we would drop our flashlight, right? Um, so, you know, we're, we're, doing works, it, we're doing it old school here, but obviously everything is, you know, uh, monitored and calculated and analyzed, each angle, how many times you're doing it, all this that is actually, stuff. Uh, yeah, closer to the real situation. Like, uh, exactly. To be honest, I like this even more than the robotic arm one at the headquarters because yeah. it, we're literally actually dropping the flashlights, you know? They're st <laughs> like, still working perfect. Yeah, so good to go. Um, you know, obviously being able to drop and withstand those drops is very important for pocket flashlights, things you're going to be carrying with you. So they okay. do a lot of that. And as you can see, look at the smile on his face. He, he, <laughs> He's happy. This guy loves dropping flashlights. You can <laughs> <laughs> okay. So this is a really, really cool machine. Yeah. Again, something that I never really thought about until I actually saw this. So this machine right here is bending the charging, charging cables, cables right. to make sure that nothing breaks inside of the charging cable when you bend it up and put it in your backpack or throw it in your car or whatever, right? Yeah, they so, bend it in different angles. So can you uh, kind of come, down, come over here and show this? Show yeah. this, because this is, yeah, this is. So here we are. So we've got the charging cables right here. You can see we've got USB up here, and it's literally bending that contact point again and again and again between you know the, the USB head and the cable itself. So we test the cables just as much as we test the flashlights. We make sure that the cables can be plugged into the flashlights a billion times, and we also make sure that the cables themselves can be bent up and you know thrown in a backpack and whatever. Yeah. Um, so I, I, it's just something I, 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 I never even thought about. Yeah. And it's like, But oh, it's really important. It's like, know? oh man, that's such a good idea. Like that, that is really important, you know? Yeah. It's just the little things. I, I love stuff like this. All right, we're gonna move on here. Another thing that you just, you just don't really think about, but once you see it, you're like, oh my God, of course. Yeah. This is shaking a box to simulate all of the crap our boxes go through with USPS and FedEx and UPS, it's to make sure that the flashlights can withstand all of the abuse that the shipping companies do when the flashlight goes from our factory to- All the way to the door. All, all the way to your door, right? right? So here we go. Um, we're, we're putting trauma on the boxes and, and this is full of flashlights, right? Right. So we basically just take a box and we put it through hell, right? So this is <laughs> so this is one of the machines. The torture for the flashlights. Yeah, yeah, they, yeah, they can exactly. Extend it. Um, and then I believe this is another one, right? Yeah, for the pressure. Oh yeah, yeah. So it's gonna stack it up, right? Oh, they are. Oh, can, the box is yeah, down there. How, how far can you come down? Can you come down? Look at this. So this is a big plate, and this plate is applying pressure onto the box to make sure that we can smush the box. You know, the shipping company is again putting these boxes through hell to make sure that it can withstand that. So we're purposefully smushing the boxes to make sure that, that it's gonna be okay through transit. Right. Um, I, I thought this was just so cool, man. It was like, I thought we were just gonna be, you know, testing flashlights and drop tests yeah. and water tests, but then I come over here and they're testing the damn boxes, you know? <laughs> I never imagined this in the first place, yeah. Exactly. It's just, it's that little bit of extra effort that, that increases the, the experience for our customers, you know what I mean? Right. Um, okay. Sure, later. Here we go. So, as you guys know, um, you, you, there's, there's no guns in China. Um, so, because of that, one of the tests that they do here 
before the products come to us in the U.S. and we can actually test these products on firearms, um, just to make sure that you know it can at least withstand a simulation before they come to us so that we can put on firearms and actually use them properly, they go ahead and do this at the very least to make sure that they can be subjected to that trauma. All right? So, so this is simulating recoil. So we've got a couple weapon lights here. This is the Balder Pro R actually. Mm -hmm. So uh, we got a rail right here with the Balder Pro R's. And this is basically just going to smack it again and again and again. And this is simulating these lights being on an AR, right? Again, guys, obviously, we test these products on real firearms, um, you know, when they come to the States. But this is the best that they can do here at the factory before they start sending us the products to the States so that we can actually put them on real guns and be able to shoot with them. But I appreciate that they do this instead of just doing nothing, you know? Like, yeah, yeah, like yeah. this is better than nothing here at the factory, but again, they're shipped to us in the States so that we can actually shoot with them and give them the real data, right? But we start here, we start here. What? Not too deep. Okay. Um, so here we go. Uh, here's the really cool machine. Um, basically, what this one is doing is this isn't this uh, this isn't product testing. This is actually kind of a different oh, yeah. machine. We we were surprised by this machine. So what okay. this machine is doing is it's actually programming the UI on the PCB boards. Right. Okay. So when you press it to turn on, you hold down the switch and it goes through low, medium, high, low, medium, high by itself. Double tap for turbo, triple tap for strobe. All of the things, the, the UIs UI. that we love, I think is the best UI in the game. Yeah. This machine right here is writing the code onto the PCB boards. And these two machines work together in order to do that. So this is where you're getting our yeah. you know, famous UI, that famous Olight UI, right? Right. Um, so, so that's where this is being done. Really cool. OK. Uh, this is a really important machine right here. You can see that this is simulating switch presses again and again and again and again and again. I've, there's a Seeker 4 Mini right here. And I don't know if you can come in and kind of show this. But basically, we have this silicone tip that's simulating a finger and it's literally just hitting the switch again and again and again. Obviously we need to make sure that you can press the switch thousands of times throughout the life of the product as you use it every single day. Um, you know this this is a no-brainer right? I mean we got to yeah. test the switch we got to make sure it can be pressed right? Yeah. And they do this what was the number? Like, it's like more than 10,000 times? It's more than 10,000 times. It, it, it's an absurd amount of times. Yeah. And the thing is, this is much more strenuous than real life because right. when would you go like this yeah. for an entire day? You, you know what I'm saying? You love your splash lights and don't want to do it. <laughs> yeah, maybe, you, maybe if you're bored, right, and have a day <laughs> off, you can just sit there. But anyways, um, so this is a lot more strenuous than real life, you know? Yeah. Um, and it's a strength pressure test. You know? Yeah, and most of these tests really all the tests is way more strenuous than than real, real life. life yeah you know so that's why when we sell the products we're confident because we know like we've already put these flashlights through hell and they're fine yeah so when you go use it at home it's going to be fine you're probably going to most likely put your flashlight through less than we put them through here right definitely so anyways um Okay, so there's a lot of machines here, but I feel like we can move through it quickly. Yeah. So okay. all of these machines are going to be, oh, and, and uh, he, oh, you set up a couple here? All right, cool. So, geez, okay. So, <laughs> so, ah. so this is a, uh, oh, minus 20 degrees. This is it my, minus 20 degrees Celsius. Okay. It's cold. It's this is really hot right now. Right hot? Okay, maybe it just went through uh, 80, maybe like, uh, 
Yeah, I think it just went through a high temperature. Yeah. Oh, you said inside is free, freaking cold, you know? Oh, freezing inside. oh, it's freezing inside. Inside. But the machine the is machine. so powerful, the machine is hot. Yeah, oh, the machine okay. is hot, it makes sense. Wow, okay. So this is going through a temperature test. All of these chambers are temperature and humidity tests. Right. Um, you can see this one is humidity. You can see how like kind of fogged up all of these, all these glasses on these machines. So we're doing humidity tests. Yeah. Uh, here, you can see here, I know there's some Chinese on here, but look, programmable temp and humi chamber, right? So all of these chambers, they can do hot, cold, and humidity. humidity test, they can right. do all of it. Um, this is really important, right? Yeah. Like, if electrical components, it, temperature changes are typically like not good for them, right? Like if you have a laptop, you don't want your laptop to get super hot or super cold. You know what I'm saying? Like sure. you don't want to leave your laptop in the car. Um, you know, a, a electrical things like you you want to take care of them and keep them right. at room temperature. Like that's what you should be doing. Obviously, these are built. Our, we we build our flashlights to be used in harsh environments. Like you know, yeah, we, to conquer harsh environments. Exactly, exactly. So because of that, even though these are electrical devices yeah. yeah they're very delicate We're but they are very strong but they're very strong yeah yeah so we need to make sure that they can withstand the cold you know sure if, if you're gonna go out in the winter we need to make sure your flashlight's gonna work if it's scorching summer yeah if yeah. it's South Texas in the middle yeah. of summer we need to make sure your flashlight can work if you're in Miami we need to make sure your flashlight can work if you're you know in right. Canada you know in the, in yeah, the Arctic cold, yeah. like you know what I'm saying like we need to make sure your flashlight can sure. always work so this is very, very, very important for us. Um, this, yeah. is, this is a big deal. Like, our number one goal, make sure the flashlight's always working no matter what environment you're in, no matter what you're doing. Yeah, so, yeah. We're, all these boxes are for these. And now all uh, these boxes do that. And yeah, now we can move on to uh, the yeah, yeah, yeah. water. We're gonna move on to some cooler stuff. Okay, water test, all right? Basically, um, oh. <laughs> He's doing one. Um, oh, you can see. So <laughs> There's one in the. I, I really appreciate him for, for setting up some of these tests for us. Um, so basically, we have a big basket, and we put a flashlight in the basket, and we drop it down into this chamber, and of course, we turn it on to make sure that it stays on, and we just let it sit there, right? Um, so this is an IPX8 chamber. IPX8 means that it can be fully submerged one and a half meters uh, for... I think it's two meters. Oh, it's two meters, two I'm sorry. Meters. Two meters for up to 30 minutes. Right. That's the IPX8 working. rating to make yeah, sure. Yeah. Right. So that's what we do. We just we put the flashlights in, we drop it down two meters. Actually, this is higher than two meters because yeah. remember we talked... You were like tall. Yeah, we talked about it. So so this is higher than two meters and, and I, 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 I've talked about this before is we go above the ratings. We go yeah. beyond the, the ratings. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. like we have the ratings written on the box. We, we have the ratings written on but the manual and that. on the website. But, but actually, most of these tests are beyond those ratings. But yeah. we just do that to ensure that they fully are, are good to go with those ratings. You know? sure, if we can sure. go beyond those ratings, then we know that those ratings are, at the very least, completely yeah. true. We're right? very confident. Exactly. Um, so you can see this is very high, this is very deep, it's all the way at the very bottom, and we're going to let it sit down there for at least 30 minutes, okay? Yeah. Okay, so we have other ratings as well. Not all of our products are IPX8. We also have IPX4, uh, yeah. 5, 6, um, yeah. so... Look at the range. <laughs> look at this, <laughs> look how cool this is. So this is simulating pouring, right? There's a flashlight inside of there. A very strong water pressure that's smashing down onto the flashlight. So again, it's it's simulating water smashing onto the light. Yeah, I think it's like IP X six. So is this? Yeah, can you ask? X, yeah, just IP uh, Tali X six. Yeah, X six. So, so this IP is IPX six. Yeah. What's, what is happening right now is the definition of IPX six, which the is like storm. heavy, heavy downpour, basically. Yeah, downpour. But not fully submerged. So we have IPX8 and we have IPX6, yeah. okay? 
So does this one do uh, more Yeah, than we have IPX4. Can he go, fast, yeah, fast. yeah. Can he go to another Make one? Head out X6. This doesn't only do IPX6. Yeah. Uh, we're going to have him drop it down to X4. Uh, okay, he has to change it a little bit. Maybe we can move on okay, well, to something else later. Okay, it's okay now. Oh, he got it set up. He got it set up. So he... Oh, See? Okay. Okay, there we go. See? So now we're at IPX4. You can see that the water pressure is much less. So it's it's kind of like simulating uh, some, some lighter Drizzling rain. Or, lighter rain, yeah. Lighter rain, right? Like a drizzle? Basically, Maybe more than a drizzle, we like this. Well, that is a little bit more than a drizzle, but you <laughs> yeah. get the idea. It's, sure. it, it's lighter, it's, it's a lower rating, right? right. Um, so that's cool to see. We'll go ahead and move on to the next one. Um, this it's, one is for salt water, you know, like seawater. Yeah, this is really cool. So this is basically a corrosion test. So what this does is this is like a seawater chamber. So it fills up with, uh, or it basically, the stronger it, it, is stronger than seawater. You know? Yeah, it is. It is. Iron. It is stronger than seawater. So this is simulating your your flashlight being exposed to the ocean, basically. Um, the reason why we do this is because of corrosion, right? So yeah. we need to make sure that even if um, you know the the light has been subjected to salt water, that the tail switch can still be pressed, that yeah. everything can still work, right? Okay. Um, I don't know if he wants to. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. Yeah. It's just put it inside. It's like very foggy. It's a song. Yeah. Song. You can. You can see it's 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 being it's it's happening right now. You can see. Yeah. <laughs> so. It's pretty, um, it's pretty salty inside, I guess. Yeah. I don't. Okay. So okay. we're not gonna open it up, but. Okay. But you get the idea. Yeah. All right. So maybe. Um. Okay. So. So maybe that's all. That's about it. Maybe we have. Yeah, I mean, that's those are all more. Uh, oh, that's those yeah. for like this battery safety and everything. Yeah, yeah. We'll just quickly mention this. It's quickly mention. It, a couple more battery safety machines. Yeah, um, pressure just, on the. Batteries. Yeah, just like what we mentioned, kind of in the beginning, is it's 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 putting the batteries through stress. Um, it's pressing on the batteries. Pinching. Pinching the batteries. Yeah, yeah. Um, doing all kinds of trauma to the battery cells themselves to ensure that even if... They don't uh, catch fire. Yeah. Exactly. So, so, for example, like say that you run over your flashlight with your car or, you know, it, you drop something on it and it smushes a little bit or something like that. Like, we need to make sure that it's still going to be okay, right? Yeah. So, so that's what this is doing. Again, just, just more trauma. More, uh, that's what's happening yeah. here is we're just, we're torture. This is a, <laughs> a torture for the batteries. <laughs> this, this, this is a torture lab. In, I, I don't think that I, that will happen in the real life. It, no, no. But, this is but just in case. Right? The things that are happening to the batteries inside of this machine, like I don't know when that would ever really happen in real life. Sure. But, anyways, we still do it anyways. <laughs> yeah, to make sure. <laughs> to make sure that it's okay. Um, you know, these are very secure. Yeah. Look at these big latches on these bad boys. So, anyways, um, very secure environment to test out the battery cells. Yeah. Um, so that's what we're doing here. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, we can. So maybe. And that's pretty that's much pretty it for much this good. room. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty much what's going on in this room. So. Um, and that's, that's pretty much today's tour, okay? Um, that's the fifth floor here of the factory, the Olight factory here in Dongguan. Um, I, I really hope that the point of this is to is it's for you guys to see the real Olight. You know what I mean? Like, there's not that many companies where you you have the product and and you truly know like how it was built and the process and all of the things that that company did to create that product. You know, like, yeah. do you know how your iPhone was made? Do you know how your TV was made? Do you know how really any of the things that you own are made? Probably not, right? But we want to do special things here at Olight. We want our fans to, to be a part of our business. We don't only want you to go on our website and buy stuff. I mean, we, we want you to buy our products because we're proud of them and we think they're some of the best products in the industry, but we want you to be a part of the community. We want you to be a part of the Olight family. That's why we call it the Olight family is yeah. because you guys are a part of this company. You know what I mean? 
we, we get your feedback. We ask you questions. In our Facebook group, every day we're asking you guys, what colors should we make next? What features do you want on the next flashlight? Do you like this? Do you not like this? We're always asking our fans for feedback and, and because we want you to be a part of the company. Right. You know? Right. And so this factory tour is, is, is a part of that, you know? Um, so here's the fifth floor yeah. here in Dongguan. Keep in mind, uh, we are going to pick two winners for the Seeker 4 Mini factory tour giveaway flashlights that we showed earlier that were engraved over there. Yeah. Uh, he packed those up. Um, so we're going to take those with us um, and reserve those for the giveaway winners. Please, please, please make sure to comment below. Type your comments in. We want as many comments as possible. Um, ask questions, guys. Um, we're going to have uh, some of our customer service reps go through the questions after this video and help answer and reply to the comments as well. Um, so, so ask away. Ask as many questions as you want. Um, oh, you got them. You got them. Okay. So here they are. Here's the two giveaway already lights packed. already packed up. All right, so I'm going to take these with me um, and we're going to ship them out to the lucky winners in the comment section down below. Um, I think we can pick the winners tonight, you know, kind of let the video run its course for the day and uh, we can p uh, pick the winners tonight, which would be Saturday morning for you because it's already Saturday morning for us. So right. Saturday night for me. Saturday morning for you because we're we're about twelve hours ahead into the future here. Um, <laughs> yeah. So so there you go. So guys, thank you so much for watching this live video. Um, you know, I hope you learned a lot today. Yeah, next week. Yeah. Next week is going to be much much better. It's going to yeah. be. We're finally going to show you the assembly. We're going to show you how we build the flashlights. So there's going to be a lot of eye candy next week. Um, so, so please make sure to tune in to for next week because this is just the beginning. This is just kind of the intro to the factory, really. And next week, we're going to get into the meat of it and really show you how these flashlights are built. So very, very exciting. Um, I think she's trying to tell you something. Let me just make sure that I've said everything that needs to be said, guys. <laughs> yeah, about summer sale. How about Oh, okay. Yeah, we can mention that as well. Um, so... Just a heads up, guys, you know that we're going to have a July sale. Um, the July sale is what we call our summer sale. Yeah. Um, the summer sale is one of the biggest sales we have of the year. So it's not just some random small sale. Uh, it's, it's an absolutely massive sale. Yeah, um, a lot of products. That has a lot of brand new products. Not just new colors, but a lot of brand new products that you guys have never used before and never seen before. Um, you know, while, while we're here, obviously part of me being here is we are working on the summer sale, um, you know, working on all the content and the videos for all of that. So, um, you know, I can't really spill the beans. I, <laughs> if you guys watch my live videos, if you're used to watching my live videos, I always say that a lot. I'm like, guys, sorry, I can't spill the beans today. Um, but, uh, but just know, um, be excited. The July sale is very exciting some flagship products coming out that I think are going to be some of the biggest releases of the year. Um, if your birthday is in July, you're very lucky because you'll get double points for this massive sale that we're having this month. Um, but, um, but save your pennies uh, because I guarantee you, you guys are going to want to go big during this summer sale. The products are, there's a lot of new products. It's really, really cool. It's going to be it's one of the biggest sales of the year for sure. Yeah, so just wanted exciting. to let you guys know about that. Um, let you know that it's going to be a big month for us here at Olight. So anyways, thank you all so much for tuning in for this live video. Welcome to the fifth floor here in Dongguan. Thank you, Kevin, so much for all of your help. Thank he's you. never done this before. It's he, my first time. He, he's, yeah, he's... Yeah. I, could, I just want to be a help. You know? I, yeah. I really just kind of pulled him into this. Uh, <laughs> yeah. he, he kept telling me... Kind of nervous, you know. He, he, yeah. he, he told me a few times, he was like, he was like, do, do I have to be in the video? <laughs> and I said, yeah, man, come on, come on, come on. Um, so, uh, so well done, well done. Yeah, thank you. Um, anyways, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Please, please comment down below in this video and enter to win these uh, two of two factory tour Seeker 4 minis. We really appreciate it. Thank you so much for being our amazing fans. 
being a part of this community, and we will see you guys soon. See ya. All right.